Hi friends, welcome to Sri Sai IT Hub. In this video of Core Java Programming, we are going to discuss the following topic, calendar class in Java programming. So first of all, we'll understand what is calendar class. So this class is available in java.util package and it is an abstract class. So we cannot create the object of this class directly. And this class provides more features when compared to some limitations in date class. Okay, so whatever the limitations which are there in date class, those are eliminated in this class with its features and methods. And it provides data members or fields to extract or get date and time from calendar object. Now, for example, it goes like this here. If we see the description of the class Java P hyphen P Java dot util dot calendar. Right. So use this command, go to the command prompt and issue this command. Right. So in the calendar class, we have different fields or data members okay like so like era year month week of a year week of a month date day of a month day of a year week of a day of a week day of a week in month am pm hour hour of a day minute second millisecond zone offset dst offset etc so all these are public static final integer variables okay and for all these variables we have some indexes like era is 0 year is 1 2 3 4 5 and this one is also given as 5 6 7 8 9 10 and so on right so using this indexes and this final variables we can work with date related properties okay and this class it also provides methods for converting between specific instant in time and calendar fields okay so these are some calendar fields right so coming to constructors data members and methods in calendar class so this class is serializable clonable and comparable with other calendar object and all these three are inherited interfaces right so calendar class implements so it is serializable so it can participate in serialization and deserialization it is clonable so we can create a duplicate calendar object using clone method and it is comparable with other calendar object right so as of now we are going to work with all these data members okay right now since so these are the data members available with relevant indexes so these indexes range from 0 to 16 so date and day of a month so date and day of a month okay so both have the same indexes in our program which is phi phi right so here we don't have any public constructors because it is an abstract class we cannot create an object of this class so to create the object of this class we use get instance static method right if you see here let us come down so we have get instance method so using this guest instance method we can get the calendar class object and it is a static method we can call this method directly with the class name right so for example calendar dot get instance it will return calendar object reference so we'll store that in cal and this will create a gregarian calendar object and initializes all the above fields okay era year month week of a year so on all these 17 okay all these 17 okay fields of the calendar class object as name value pairs okay and this date 
or time it will take current system date and time okay and this current system date and time is calculated as the time elapsed in milliseconds from january 1st 1970 midnight zero hours zero minutes zero seconds and zero 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 milliseconds gmt okay so which is gregarian calendar uh, as per gmt which is uh, uh, greenwich meridian time and using get method get of int so get of zero get of one get of two get of six we can get that particular field value which is initialized in our calendar object cal right so this is the get method so using get method we can get the fields which are initialized in the calendar object okay all these 17 fields so let us try to work with all these 17 fields and check out in the program so coming to the program so calendar example one dot java so take a new page so first we'll write the comments program to create a calendar class object and work with okay its data members or fields right so import java dot util package okay take the main class with main method and save this program in your working directory so let us create an object of calendar class cal is equals to calendar dot get instance which is a static method and first let us print the calendar class object and check whether all these fields are initialized properly or not right so save this program so come to the command prompt and then compile the program java c calendar class example one dot java so no error and then run it so we got a calendar class object as gregarian calendar okay so in this different fields are initialized like it will take current system date and time okay and if you see the time here it is given in milliseconds so this time is calculated as the time elapsed from january 1st 1970 midnight zero hours zero minutes zero milliseconds okay zero seconds and milliseconds and coming to calendar class fields okay right so it will start from here era one year 2020 month 11 11 means it is it is december okay so months are taken from 0 to 11 which is december similarly week of a year so this is the 49th week week of a month this is the first week of a month day of a month so this is second second december 2020 so on so let us try to extract all these things hour hour in a day okay seconds milliseconds zone offset and dst offset right so let us work with these fields one by one right so first let us start with zero one two so calendar dot error so get the value calendar dot get off zero so error is one similarly calendar dot year it will give the index value which is one integer value so get of one so get of one means it will take this value get of one which is year okay right so it will take the year so year which is 2020 similarly get of two month 11 get of three week of a year 49 get of four five six so on right so let us work with all these things so calendar dot month calendar object dot get of two so we'll get the month so recompile and run so recompile no error run so error is one year is 2020 month is 11 which is december 0 to 11 
next let us work with other one by one similarly print calendar dot week of a year which is cal dot get off three next get off four week of a month and then date get off five so save this and run okay recompile and run so this is the 49th week of a year and then one two okay so first week of a month and then day of a month second december All right so similarly we can also get so yeah date of a month which is second december and then we can also get date of a month okay so day of a month which is get off five which is second day of a year get off six day of a week which is get off seven so save this so day in a but yeah recompile we have to suppose to recompile this whenever we do changes to the program and run right so day of a month which is two or date and then day of a year which is 3 37th day of the year and then day of a week which is fourth day of a week so sunday monday tuesday wednesday so four means wednesday right so next let us work with right so day of a week in month okay fine so this is first week second week third week fourth week like that so day of week in a month get off 8 am or pm get off 9 hour get off 10 so save this compile and run so day of a week in a month so this is the first week am pm so this is pm am is 0 pm is 1 and then last one one which is our 1 pm okay so next let us go for right hour of a day so 23 hours so it should 1 pm means it should give 13 hours get off 11 minutes get off 12 second get off 13 so save it recompile and then run it right so 13 hours 48 minutes and 58 seconds 11 12 13 indexes so next let us work with yeah milliseconds so how many milliseconds for this current date and time okay get off 14 so zone offset so it comes under which zone okay ist indian standard time which is get off 15 it will give that offset number okay it will not give ist offset number and dst offset so in ist indian standard time we don't have any dst daylight saving time it will give zero so save this recompile and run so 895 milliseconds so this is uh, zone offset okay and this is dst daylight saving which is zero and all these fields okay if you can see here are initialized in this calendar object which is created as gregarian calendar but if you see here we'll have all these things zero is error which is value is one year index is one value is 2020 two month value is 11 and so on similarly zone offset and dst offset which is 16 index value is zero right so like this in calendar class we have all these data members which are given with some integer values 0 to 16 total 17 and we can access this when we create the object of calendar class using get instance method which is a static method so we are creating it with static method because in calendar class we don't have a constructor public constructor because it is a abstract class so that is what is all about calendar class in 
Java programming. Thank you for watching this video. Do like, comment and share this video and also subscribe to the YouTube channel Sri Sai IT Hub. Have a nice day.